It's during public events that Roland Tibirusha finds his artistic juices flowing. With a splash of color, he uses his brush to express what's happening at a function. I create art that would uh, uh, like maybe speak to the people who are really watching what I'm doing at the function. Just like this, if I painted and uh, uh, added color to this kind of creation, I would want to say, if the music is playing, I would want to paint the music, the message. If the people are sharing the conversation, it's still the same message I'm sharing at that particular moment. So it's all through that I paint during that time and then see the moment, the spirit of the moment at a particular event. Roland titles his art according to the name of the event. The most remarkable thing about Roland's art history is that he tells the story of an event as the function is underway. Roland walks into a function with just a piece of plain white canvas and by the end of the event he would have the mood and deliberations down in pictures. Even now you can paint something. Like what? Roland involves people in all of his artworks by getting them to add their signatures to his pieces. He finds people are intrigued by what he does. This particular one was a birthday, I had their pictures and I was painting their faces. Then all these are the guests that attended and had an, a moment of interacting with the work. That we, that's how uniquely my work is. His work is then usually kept as a souvenir by events owners. People who have invited Roland to paint at their events say his artistic style makes people feel good. He makes every guest that has attended a function feel welcome, feel part of the function. For example, everyone who was in attendance on that day, on the very glamorous day of the 20th of June, when we got married, approximately 80% of the people that showed up appended their signatures or trademarks on this particular canvas. Roland has accumulated the signatures of over 20 African presidents on his artworks. It's something he's very proud of. And his art has taken him places, painting at major events, including one hosted by renowned political writer, Professor Ali Mazroi. I've been painting each celebration since then. There are many works that have come. Even on his death, I painted a piece of work which was in relation to what I would, uh, I, would, I would want to call a collection, an archive of the story of Mazuri in paintings. But there are still many Ugandans who don't understand Roland's way of painting, and that's a huge challenge for the artist. Us who have been to the art school, sometimes we are influenced by other styles. But I chose not to be influenced by those, but try to capture some of those elements that I find in our community. The beauty of community, we are sharing one canvas and then we, we have a conversation there. Now his art pieces can fetch thousands of dollars. And he has started mentoring other young people in his style and hopes his works will continue to grow. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.